good morning guys how are we all doing so dan from trading with dan here this is our forex update for the day so if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those charts your us dollar first as usual um so yeah you can see today we're having a uh, having a bit of a um a rally up in this this asset we lost that uh, trend line we were looking at the well, this horizontal not trend line um that we were looking at yesterday um and well the day before um or last week and we were looking at um targeting the daily 21 or this horizontal so it looks like we've not quite made that and we're rallying back up so um that's obviously um relatively bullish but we'll have to see if we're just back testing this horizontal and see how we interact with this level now and see if we come down um obviously the 21 daily is moving up so we can we can just test it in this zone and trade sideways so that is realistically not a problem um td wise we obviously had that daily nine that we were we were we were trading off um nothing on the 12 hour and on the four hour um four hour did we get a four hour nine down here um no we didn't know um and yeah so realistically um we just have to see how we interact at this level do we get rejected and come back down or do we break back above um and if we break back above potentially back test it and bounce off it that could be a good a good long entry for obviously taking out um taking out these highs we'll draw this on here because this is obviously clearly going to be an important level um for new highs now uh cable over to cable on the daily there we go um still flagging out still not looking bad um yeah um wick wick not wick oh yeah i guess we, we moved down towards this horizontal um bounced off that I'm currently only halfway halfway up the range of that candle so this will be a, a mid the base this is the midpoint and um, reject this point i guess i would assume we'll come down and break this level but if we get back above this midpoint then realistically expect more acceleration to the upside or more movement to the upside not necessarily acceleration uh, but more movement but obviously the midpoint is important um i don't know why i was on the 10 hour um although we did have a 10 hour that's 10 hour nine um but yeah um nothing really to look at here on the 12 hour and not really much to look at the four hour but you can kind of see we're sort of in an equilibrium in this sort of zone so realistically um we need to see whether we make we we break the top half and start to make a move to the top and potentially out or whether we get rejected here um move down and lose these levels how is that dollar index doing today we looked at this in our bitcoin video actually um so you can see on the daily um today um we are getting rejected by this horizontal which to be honest was what i was expecting i didn't really think bitcoin had the strength to get up to here but obviously it was a target providing we broke through there um but clearly um dollar bears were just um were happy to sell at that level and yeah been forcing the price down so um that potentially is the the one to four candle correction and um, we basically got the move we're looking for we just see the arrow that was it breaking above here on based on the four hour move up to here and then we've got the move and now we're coming back down so so dicey dicey again for the dollar dicey again um and obviously if we come back down here um i mean you can only really expect one outcome it doesn't necessarily have to be the case but um you can only really expect one outcome um for our nine here as well taking out that low which we're going to do pretty soon um yeah that basically will trigger the down so we'll, we'll confirm uh, we'll trigger a down a uh, uh, trigger a short trade anyway and then obviously you stop being basically this level again which we may actually just wick back up to there we may play this zone out the high end of this zone we'll have to see um but yeah clearly the 409 there helped us out um, and yeah if we take out this level this time um yeah just um i guess again it's curtains isn't it it's curtains and it's 88 88 incoming um euro pound um let's get rid of this um get rid of this arrowhead that shouldn't be there um yeah euro pound euro pound we had obviously this horizontal and um, we are we've been flirting with this trend line this is a four hour we'll go to a daily um being uh, we have these lines look all kinds of wonky don't they we sort of been flirting with this trend line. We lost this horizontal, came back down to this horizontal again. Obviously, taken out of this horizontal. Um, I believe it's going to trigger a move all the way down to here, but we bounced off it. Um, so yeah, it is showing its strength and its importance. And now it's a case of can we break back above this horizontal and back into the trend line, and then finally accelerate to the upside. Um, that's what I'll be looking for. But obviously now, especially now, we bounced off it. If we come down again, um, I mean, I would expect it potentially to lose this um, and then we will get that move down so this is looking interesting for a nice trade either way uh, back above the trend line again attempt another buy trade um now back below here um attempt to sell trade um 
not the um not the not the worst options there really trade wise that is um looking like a pretty good um a pretty good trade idea uh, nearly got to the four hour nine as you can see as we we're breaking below this horizontal but price just didn't want to stay below that horizontal i suspected this if we'd got to the nine um and not below then um we would have bounced off the nine but yeah it wasn't going to hang around under this horizontal um so it seems um aussie dollar uh swiss franc this is basically going nowhere um again again no nowhere no real analysis to do here again other than obviously like we say every day we've got to break out this range up or down whichever one um aussie dollar new zealand dollar constructive bullish great doing well look at that back above here that was our target from breaking up there um we didn't lose this level off the nine off the daily nine here so no sell trade activated taking out the top of the nine trade which is basically buy trade activated and this horizontal which coincides with these levels will be uh well we'll be move up to move up to here uh one spot one three activated so yeah that is um <clears throat> it's looking bullish looking constructive looking good and yeah we had a nice um had a had a had a had some nice trades um basically play out of this one pretty pretty well so um yeah it's looking looking bullish um us dollar japanese yen uh let's go to that daily yeah we talk about it would swing swing failure under here uh move back up a little bit of a retrace to the midpoint of the candle this is this is another aspect of trading that i may not have made fully clear when you get high range of candles the midpoint of that candle becomes important you will often test the midpoint and then it's a case of do you bounce off it and carry on going back up in which case it's bullish or do you lose it in which case you will expect to take out the low of the candle but yeah that's another midpoint a midpoint test of a candle there of a high range candle um and looking like it's uh, looking bullish so um i would be starting to um think that this could change things around i know the daily moving average posture is not good but again if we move up from here and we take this daily 21 and um, well that's the first step and i mean we are below the daily 200 but it's a pretty flat it's pretty flat line so there's no real um real bias other than the fact we're under it no like no slope no slope analysis bias um but yeah i mean you can kind of see um we may get a sort of cup and handle form here and then a move upwards um cable uh sorry um sterling sterling yen um let's go to the daily i mean it's looking good it's looking constructive it's looking bullish we are consolidating at these highs we're price flipping on the td uh sequential for the daily so we're not going to get a nine forces down uh, we may come down but it won't be a daily daily nine that does it uh, not from this level anyway not for a good few days so yeah look looking like we could break up in this it is looking like um yeah your bias has to be the upside obviously taking out that high will trigger all sorts of long trades and stops and etc etc so yeah that's looking good for a buy above that level um a canadian dollar swiss franc um this is um yeah i mean it's difficult to read much of this Again, if we gain this horizontal, gain the 200, um, form a base up here, we could start to turn this trend around. But this has the sloping 200, which we are below. And this is looking potentially more bearish. So uh, the safest trade is obviously to sell below this level here. We will just extend that. But yeah, to sell below there. Um, and then, yeah, sell more below there. Um, not financial advice. Um, and a 4 out 9 coming in out of resistance. So um yeah i mean i expect uh, well my 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 bias is bearish and we are at a four hour nine at resistance so um i would think it is likely that um something like this is about to occur um and then um observe the interaction with this horizontal um euro japanese yen let's go to the daily um yeah back tested bro broke the horizontal <laughs> Back tested it, uh, four check, back check, pay check. <laughs> so, all right, let's see if um, if we take out this high. Obviously, it's going to be upward. So, yeah, that's it. Great, broke, broke the level, um, put in a put in a high. Um, obviously, taking that high, accelerating more upside. Um, came back and back tested. Now we look like we're going to try and take out that high. So, could be a oh, well. It's a basically a basically a it's basically a buy over there. So we'll see how that goes. US dollar Canadian dollar this is looking a week some strange noises coming out outside my house um yeah um us dollar canadian dollar um yeah looking weak again swing failure back test and well attempted to back test that hot that breakdown level um that well it's not a breakdown level it's just a level off the top of this nine couldn't make it couldn't break it um and now we're coming back down and obviously clearly well we're back short again below here and then taken out here even sh even shorter we'll get even shorter 
Um, and yeah, I expect that would move down. Um, let's look at the 12 hour. Um, not, there's not going to be much to read off here. We may be getting a 4 hour 9 coming in. Um, yeah, 4 hour 9. Uh, you guys know I look for acceleration into 9s. Maybe we're going to basically swing failure under here again under this horizontal. Um, and then, or just at least just have some halt, <laughs> some halting action some um sideways at this level before potentially breaking down or an anemic bounce maybe to back test this level we'll see um aussie dollar us dollar on the daily it wants to regain this trend line it is consolidating at a high we're above the moving averages um 200 starting to slope up nicely getting held by the thingy i mean by the thingy the daily 21 um realistically this is looking like it's gonna uh it's gonna pop to the upside obviously it doesn't have to um but and we've got our obviously confirmation level here above here yeah this will just this will probably have a pop um if we break that level new zealand dollar us dollar um yeah like we spoke about this the box it was in if it breaks back into this level it's likely to come back down to here and then we'll have to see how we interact with this level but it's we're above, we're above the daily 200, and we'll have the daily 200 as support at that level. So, I mean, I feel like my guess would be we're going to drop back into here and play out this range some more. Uh, 12 hour, 12 hour, 12 hour. Yeah, not not too much to read on the 12 hour, um, and not too really much to read on the 4 hour either. US dollar, Swiss franc. Uh, let's go to the daily. Um, yeah, I mean, again, um, we had that level um broke above there came back down test level again tried to test it i mean now we're coming down again i mean it does look like we're going to break it and come down um that would be my read off that um it's not this it's not the um strongest looking um formation guys by any means rejection of the daily 21 we could we like pop above and reject back down on the daily 21 um realistically i don't you wouldn't you wouldn't look at this and think it's a screaming buy put it that way um us dollar brazilian real um on the up and up still on the up and up on the up and up and up and this is the level this was the target um this is where we're basically looking like we're gonna hit and we've got a daily nine coming in so i guess we'll get a pop above here we they might as well do it squeeze it above get hit some liquidity and then take some profits and then we'll potentially play out a range above here or in here and I would expect to see more upside after that break, but we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's coming. It does look like that's coming. Um, US dollar Mexican peso. How are you doing? So now we're back in the back in the profit from that trade, back in the profit after obviously initially getting into a lot of profit or from basically we're selling it here all the way. Basically, sorry, selling it here at this point in time. There, it came all the way down. Didn't reach our target. Came all the way back up. Didn't reach our stop. Um, and now it looks like it's coming back down again. But this is not the this is not the um, picture of health. Um, this does look weak AF. Um, so yeah, you can say that, can't you? Um, yeah, I mean it's not um, looking the most bullish the most bullish formation. So yeah, um, I would be expecting downside as obviously that suggests us dollar turkish lira though how is that going to do are things going to calm down because obviously we know this is geopolitical um i think it's going to calm down and this generally subside maybe maybe but obviously we're consolidating ish at highs ish i mean it's a yeah these are some big wicks um yeah i mean that 12 hour we had a nine four hour we had a nine daily we didn't have a nine i mean maybe it'll just trade some sideways to up until we get that daily nine but yeah i wouldn't be looking for any trades on this now obviously the trade was the breakout above here we have the four check back check pay check <laughs> and there we go so right there we go guys remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys later on today